hello everyone so this video is like introduction to the lanthanides whatever we have learned till now the basics of lanthanides i will be giving a gyps of whatever we have learned okay so coming to the lanthanides the characteristic oxidation state of lanthanide elements is plus 3 right so what is the most basic characteristic oxidation state it is plus 3 it exhibits all the lanthanides like the oxidation possible oxidation states are plus 2 plus 3 and plus 4 but the characteristic is plus 3 this is important point has been appeared in csir once okay uh, the free lanthanide metals are more reactive and are similar to alkali or alkaline earth metals rather than transition metals in this regard so as these are inner transition elements we expect that the properties to be similar to the transition elements but it's not like that instead their properties and the reactivity uh, it is similar to the alkali or alkaline earth metals that is group 1a and 2a right now all all the lanthanides react to the water with the evolution of hydrogen this is one of the properties that all the la lanthanides react with the water and they evolve hydrogen in the reaction okay and talking about europium and ytterbium also the characteristic oxidation state is plus 3 europium and ytterbium uh, possess plus 2 oxidation state for them it is the most stable oxidation state right now why is it so it is because the stability the half filled and the full filled configuration of the plus 2 configuration of europium and ytterbium makes them to be stable in plus 2 rather than in plus 3 okay that's what i've written here plus 2 and plus 2 it is f7 and f14 now europium 2 and ytterbium 2 resembles the properties of barium an alkaline earth metal which has lowest enthalpy of vaporization so as i have told that they resembles alkali and alkaline earth metals so how is it so is like this is a this are two points which will uh, tell you how is it uh, correlated to alkaline and alkali earth metals okay so their properties resembles to the barium that is an alkaline earth metal right group 2a element rather than a transition metal and this two element resembles alkaline earth metals in another, another respect they dissolve in liquid ammonia to yield conducting blue solution so these elements uh, same like group 2a elements they react with the ammonia giving a blue colored solution the many more similarities but i have picked out this two just to tell you that how are they similar with the group 2a elements okay other lanthanides like neodymium dysprosium thulium holmium form Met metal two compounds which are stable as solids. Now these two I have told are stable the plus two oxidation states, but they exist as solutions. Okay, europium and ytterbium exist in the solution form, whereas these all the particular four lanthanides they are stable, but they are stable as solids. They are present in a solid forms. That is the difference between these two. That is why you have to remember this europium and ytterbium. The very important. Okay. and then other than plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is also been exhibited by four to five uh, elements of the lanthanides and one and one among them is cerium ceric salts that is cerium plus 4 is very stable and uh, it prefers plus 4 rather than plus 3 okay this is another lanthanide element which uh, instead of having plus 3 it exhibits plus 4 as its stable electronic configuration so other than cerium plus 4 and europium 2 none of the lanthanides are stable in oxidation states other than plus 3 so this is just like a statement okay so we have ytterbium plus 2 and these are the stable compounds most stable are cerium 4 and europium 2 other than those lanthanides okay the similarity in ionic radius of the lanthanides makes it difficult to separate them so because of the common plus 3 characteristic oxidation state and the similarity in the ionic radius it is very difficult to separate them even chromatographically so industrially what is the technique used to separate the lanthanides it is solvent extraction technique right now colors of the lanthanide complexes the main color is due to due to the charge transfer transitions so here also same in the transition elements where there are dd transitions here there are ff transitions okay the charge transfer transitions Uh, the dd the ff transitions are laporte forbidden okay they are laporte forbidden so 
the majority charge trans charge transfer phenomena that is ligand to metal or metal to ligand are exhibited by this particular lanthanides the valence orbital in lanthanides are almost non bonding and hence the spectra from ff transitions are much weaker and narrower than those of dd transitions so dd transition bands are very broad bands okay and ff transitions uh, bands are very sharp bands this is another point which has been appeared in csir maybe 2017 december csir this particular point was asked that if ff transitions are broad or sharp based on this concept right so what is the reason the valence orbitals in the lanthanides are almost non bonding in nature because of that non bonding what happens the spectra is very weak the transition is very weak and you observe narrower bands rather than broad bands for the lanthanides and actinides too now the paramagnetic moment of the lanthanides is calculated using the formula so this is the formula used to calculate the paramagnetic moment for the lanthanides and what is the formula mu is equals to g into j into j plus 1 whole power 1 by 2 and j is your total angular momentum and you can calculate this by using l plus s or l minus s depending upon the configuration and g is your land splitting factor or g factor and how do you calculate g using this particular formula 1 plus j into j plus 1 plus s into s plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 by 2j into j plus 1 so this formula is very very important directly based on this particular formula questions have been appeared in the exam and if you solve this and resubstitute back here you will get the paramagnetic moment of a lanthanide ion if it is asked in the exam to calculate the mu for this you can use this particular formula right so this was just like an introduction to the lanthanides because i thought we should just go through the basic ones before we uh, discuss about the properties of uh, the complete properties of the lanthanides and actinides so if you like this video uh, hit the like button and do subscribe and let me know that if you have liked this video so that i can think of making the continuation part of it right thank you